What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and an environment I'm not too familiar with. There is a bunch of fours behind. We are in Cormea at the Grand Hotel and Golf. Today we are heading up the slopes. Not that you can see anything. The visibility is approximately 200 meters. Um, and myself and Sam are actually staying in a different hotel. So we've driven our car down the high street to the hotel where the rest of the Ford team are staying. But first, before we go up to the slopes, myself and Sam are incredibly unprepared, have not got any waterproof. So we're gonna have to go and rent slash buy ski equipment for the next two days. So we have just come from there and I've been kitted out in an all black ski attire. Um, and now we're gonna be heading up onto the ski lift or cable car up to the top of the mountain where the next rental stop is where I'm going to pick up my snowboard, gloves, goggles and hopefully some skills because I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. We are going to be, I think there's going to be two of us with one tutor who have never snowboarded before so fingers crossed I can pick it up and pick myself up from all of the times I'm going to fall over and get some good content for you. Uh, yeah, I'm sure the driving experience with everyone says that everyone We've made it to the top of the mountain. Perfect. We're coming into a winter wonderland. I'm all geared up and I'm here with Nick from The Sun, who's also on his first ever day snowboarding. Snowboard virgin. Snowboard virgin. So we have got our own tutor. So it's a two on one. I hope he's good. I suspect he will be. He'll know what he's talking about. Yeah. We'll be pros by the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. So I'm basically, I'm wearing these really thick gloves. So I'm going to just try and get as much footage as possible. Sam's got his GoPros and stupidly didn't give me one so I can't get any real action cam stuff but we're heading pretty high up a mountain um, where it's getting bloody high. Yeah and human life is slowly diminishing. Oh, here comes some skiers out of the mist. Let's get the, let's get these coming down. They're lots slower than I was expecting actually. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to Fast forward this bit of the video. <laughs> <Do> an edit. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here they come, slaloming down. This is like a red. Oh, is this an orange run by the looks of it, or a red run? What does that denote? Is that, is that the difficulty of it? Yeah. Well, yeah, but uh, the, on the, the the poles here, the orange top must mean that it's an orange run. I don't know. There's Lucas. We knew you were close. Visibility is poor. <laughs> Look, there's people there. I don't know whether the camera picks it up. <laughs> All the stuff. Okay, there you go. This is called spoiler. I stay on the back. Okay, like this. Yep. Try to lean your boots into the spoiler. Like yep. This is perfect. Then. Everything today seems strange. Seems we are learning how to move on the snowboard. So right here. Okay, what do we do? If you want to go back, this foot stay. On the floor, there's no turn around you like this. Right, so the guy stays on the back. Always. Are you back? Always on back. <laughs> One. One. Two. Oh! Ah! We're now learning how to. <laughs> We're learning how to basically stop or break so that when we're going down, like these guys, even though they're on skis, um, we basically know how to stop at the end and not crash off the mountain. So um, we've been given a demonstration and we just have to use our heels and the edge of the board. So this is how you turn apparently. Lucas made it look very easy. <laughs> Here he goes. Start on your right. Look on your right, push a little more, and wait your board. Okay, this is good. Here you go left. 
professional. Now right. Off to the right. You should be more in the way that you're going. Woo! There you go. Left. To the left. To the right. Whoa! Now I'm straight. Now I need to break. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! So that was uh, pretty fun, and we're now learning how to turn pretty beginner level. Um, but I feel like I need uh, more leg strength, so I need to go to the gym. Um, but this is insane. It's just a shame about the the visibility because apparently up there somewhere is Mont Blanc. And I've made it back into the hotel, day one complete, and I have to say, the morning was a lot more enjoyable than after lunch. As soon as I got sat down, relaxed a little bit, and then went back out to the slopes, I just felt that my body had stiffened up a little bit. I've been using muscles that have not been used in probably a couple of years. Started to get a little bit stiff, my foot started to hurt, bad excuses, my concentration level wasn't there, and I started to fall over a lot, which um, thank God um, wasn't caught on camera, because if it was, I'd probably be holding myself there. Might have like broken an arm, or it worse, broken my camera. <laughs> Apparently tonight is amazing. We're going up on snowmobiles, in the dark, up the mountain to a restaurant, Apparently it's supposed to be amazing. I'm going to try and film as much as I can of it because it just sounds ridiculous. We're on James Bond. We are now Sunday the 28th of February. Our ranger is back. Alex from Car Throttle has been borrowing it for the last two days doing an epic film which will be available on the Car Throttle YouTube channel I assume. And he has made it absolutely filthy. What do you think of Alex's work? Oh, he's ruined our car. <laughs> this is the mud. The dirt. That we are having to deal with in in lovely Cormea. We are now in the Mont Blanc tunnel which is about 13 kilometers long as set up there. Top left of the screen. How are you finding it Sam? Yeah. Enjoying it? It's a good spray. <laughs> Basically you have to keep above a minimum speed and below a maximum speed to keep the uh, sort of traffic streamline and um, it's well I suppose quite boring for 13 kilometers inside a tunnel very straight a little bit. so I'm glad I'm not driving I might fall asleep <laughs> we've made it to Geneva I've been the worst passenger ever <laughs> I, I would agree <laughs> and basically fell asleep um, and we are now uh, less than five minutes away from our hotel which I'm very excited to see. I think, I'm pretty sure it's on the lake, so it should look really nice. And sadly, this is the last five minutes of driving the Ranger. Oh no, I'm gonna miss it. I was just thinking that actually as we're cruising along and 
We're not quite cruise control. I was basically driving like this. <laughs> Probably wasn't the safest thing in the world, but it's amazing how comfy and easy it is to drive this car. Yeah, this car has been ridiculous. It has been so good. We have done the lovely sunny Spanish mountains, the long 18 mile, 18? 18 hour drive. <laughs> you know, the exhausting 18 mile drive. <laughs> um, so we've done the motorway cruises, been amazing at just being on cruise control, I'm very, very comfortable, loads of um, loads of miles covered, very, very comfy. And we've done the twisty type French country roads that you'd like to drive a supercar on normally. Great fun in this. And um, then we took it off-roading, and then Alex has just thrashed it in the snow. And it's done everything and been amazing. 32 gold. Go we on. are car spotting in Geneva. Go on. Go on, mate. There's some cool cars drive around. There's a whip. Some... Yes. Got it. Yeah. Yellow GT3 RS. That's really cool. 